What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a fantastic week for the most part. Um, we're almost through it and almost some pew pew time. Nonetheless, man, I said I made some comments about it. I've had it on my Instagram, uh, the new pistol that I've been working on. Because, uh, I mean, some of y'all can quote me. A few weeks ago, maybe pushing two months ago, not even that, um, I was like, man, I'm not really trying to get into the TM game. Uh, well, the TM game has certainly got into me. Literally balls to the wall for the last little bit and have completely fell in love with Tokyo Marys. I knew how to do some stuff with them before, but I just really wasn't into playing with them so much. And I will give another shout out to Monk Custom for their grip uh, or their adapter because it changed the way I love to play, like to play with it. It made things more simpler for me, uh, more efficient, kind of things like that. So I have posted the last few videos um, on how to do, or not how to do, but just playing with it, um, just gameplay with it. Um, somebody I was playing with the, the pink battle cap. So like a clip like this one at our new practice field. So that's that right there has the um, M adapter on it. So. Nonetheless, I'm gonna, I wanted to basically say what I have in my pistol because on a Instagram post, <clears throat> and actually on Facebook as well, I pointed out, or actually just took a picture of it, and people was like, wow, look at the short strokes in that. I had so many. And I was rocking the little cow cow uh, buffers. Um, but I actually got it transferred over now to some LA Kappa ones. Super great, love them. Um, but basically I want to tell you what's in my pistol and if anything can help out to you and your build why am I using this specific part yada 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 so um, the edge here well, let me just get this slide off so here push this back first so this is my at this current moment Tokyo Murray I have a limb clap limb limb clap <laughs> limb cat um, protector uh, slide on at the moment and this is only temporary I'm actually waiting for the 4-3 Conqueror through LA Kappa Customs to come in whenever they are shipped to me so this will get that later on so everything else is kind of in preparation for that um, but for the moment I do have the protector or yeah the protector I can't talk today y'all on it it is 4-3 and I have the 4-3 purple airsoft masterpiece outer barrel in it at the moment it's scratched up but that naturally just kind of happens um, and today I just put the Airsoft Masterpiece grip on here. So really good fitment, never had an issue with it, um, except one mag release, um, a separate one that I had, and I do not remember which one it was. I wanna say it was a stock one. Um, didn't work very well, but this one is actually a nine ball one I have in here without the actual button on it. Um, and it works fine, it works great. Um, so no fitment issues, the trigger, uh, glided really well um, so when you have something that's a speed build you don't want any kind of friction at all um, so out outside of this when it's just in the grip and it's just the d-ring for the trigger and the trigger it glides really well through there so really good fitment this is the edge trigger that I still have in there the adjustable one um, so it's still in there uh, I have a stock hammer spring on the inside of this um, I don't, I want a light trigger pull. And it also has the Trident Sear Cow Cow um, spring in it as well. Um, but let's get on the inside because we can do all those little things. And so, the inside. This is what's rocking on the inside. There's a lot of colors going on, but there's a lot of things going on. Um, starting from the back, which I now have the Edge um, Ultralight housing. This housing housing is great. The piston that comes on it is amazing. And it has cutouts in it. I think this one weighs in at 16 grams, I believe. And then they have the V2. I think it is 15 grams. Uh, I could be completely wrong about that, but I think it's 15. Um, the Airsoft Masterpiece Brass um, hop-up unit. Really, really like this. Teamed up with the uh, LA Kappa Customs flat bucking on the inside. Uh, the buffers, the LA Kappa buffers. Um, I actually have, with that is the Cow Cow uh, RM1 spring, I think it is, the guide rod or something like that. Um, but it actually has a spring in it on the inside, so it actually sucks up more recoil and acts as a um, short stroke at the same time. So basically, my gap here is where I'm getting to this, is I'm kind of leading up to it, is from here to here is basically a short stroke scenario there. 
And does it fire? Yes, it fires every single shot. And one of the best things of it shooting that fast and or being that snappy is the edge long leg um, nozzle. This nozzle is great. Now, long leg nozzle doesn't allow it to come all the way out. So basically, it hits the frame, or I'm sorry, the slide, and will not allow it to come out. I'll give you a screenshot of the two comparisons. So that one is the short stroke. And this in well, which is actually called a long leg, and then there's a short leg, and basically it short strokes the nozzle as well. And I have the actually I just put some new ones in here. Um, I actually have the Battle Flare um, 180 Spring right here. Shout out to LA Cabot Customs where I ended up getting that one. Um, yeah, so the BCP 180 Springs, um, and it's shooting great so far. So the reason I went to a high spring like that is because I need to hurry up and get that nozzle out of the housing. Because I have such short travel with the slide, I need to hurry up and get it out. Which is great with the short nozzle because it's gonna hurry up and get out of the hop-up as well. So if you have a really good seal in your hop-up and like a really weak spring, if you pull back, you'll notice that your nozzle will get stuck in your bucking and you pull most of the way back and then it'll pop. But when you have a stronger nozzle spring, it'll get it out of that bucking faster so that's basically what we need so I don't have misfeed issues um, so I needed a fast nozzle or a nozzle spring with the faster nozzle because it's gonna pull out of that bucking no matter what but this at least helps um, in that matter and allows me to short stroke it and the edge nozzle short stroke um, nozzle I said nozzle twice in that one is designed for six or more um, buffers so right now I have four stacked up um, two mediums, two hards um, from LA Kappa teamed up with the Cow Cow Guide Rod in a 120 um, spring. And yes, it does feed every single round. Um, I actually shot this in the video you just seen a second ago was using this nozzle, this housing. Um, so basically what it, it's ended up doing is allowing me to shoot a lot faster. And it's given me a, um, that's, that's what we're all about. Um, shooting faster with these things not all of us but that's generally probably why you're watching this is because you have a general interest in you know speed saw speed QB and you want to be able to shoot faster um, so that's what I've done is literally tried to make this thing shoot faster and faster and I think I got it maxed out I don't think I can get it any faster um, but I will definitely shout out for those um, blowback housings the edge um, ultralight blowback housing. I got mine in red obviously as you've seen um, with the blue short uh, short stroke long leg nozzles they go great together they're a really good team um, together and I actually believe it or not I had a Garner in here earlier um, just to see the Garner tied it and it's not even it's a standard and it's not even short stroked and it's still shot with the 180 um, spring in it shot just fine was still feeding everyone even with the same short uh, buffers in it yeah so it it will work um, with other ones shoots really 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 quick really really fast i really like it uh matter of fact i could probably mess with my audio a little bit but give me a second if i have air let's see if i have air i may not even have air in this yes i have air okay so this may mess with the audio just a little bit but i'll let you see how snappy that this is i'm gonna point it over here that fast super quick so maybe the audio adjusts here in a second um, now I'll go ahead and show you how far this is actually coming back this is gonna be it boom to that tail to the back of the beaver tail that's all you're getting so that's really shorted um, with the cow cow spring in it it does it allow it to get a little bit more with that spring and actually what and you and the springs come with a, a hard medium and a low kind of tension spring there um, I have the low one set in there so I do get a little bit of you know jar um, with the medium I almost had no recoil at all like it was such a soft landing for it um, but that's that's it you see how fast that is so yeah, uh, but that's in there, and the nine ball sear teamed up with a um, nine ball um, hexa uh, hammer 
works really, really great, really, really good. So there's only a couple things that are still in this thing that are even still stock, um, mostly being the frame, um, the safeties, the beaver, and the um, disconnect. Those, those are the only thing that's stock still. Everything else is swapped out. So it's working out pretty good. I really like this pistol. Um, I'm gonna keep this one around for a little while. Things will change to it and it'll almost turn into something different within the next couple of months, I'm sure. Um, but yeah. Um, and what do you think, man? You gotta build this short? You got something that, that short strokes that short? Do you like it or do you like a little bit more to it? A little, you know, not as short? Um, have you ever used this nozzle? Do you not like these nozzles, these housing? If there's a part in here that I mentioned and you don't like, let me know. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying all these. So. It's coming out to be a pretty good gun. But I'll catch you on the next video, man. If you got anything from this, y'all know what it is. Always drop me a like. If you want to see any more of these videos or anything else of mine, go ahead and smash the sub button because I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'll get with y'all in the next video.